Hi friend, do you know why we as cybermancy priests are superior to the rest? Uh, thanks to cyber technology? Yes, that's correct. Cyber technology allows you to improve your skills, but above all, harness mighty powers. An example? Oh yes, you can run, jump higher, run faster. Later, you can gain specialized sighting, build a cloak to resist wounds, and many other things. Where can I get some? For the low, low cost of nine ninety nine. Am I dealing with an idiot? Alright, you have to go to the clinic. In front, there's a vendor who propose everything you can dream of. Beware. Must have required skills, and of course, the brosives. Uh, how can I augment my cyber implants? It's this idea of a joke. How can you not know that? You need to consult your cyber menu in the cyber implants tab, and if you can afford, you'll be able to increase the level of your implants. Pizza cake. Damn stupid boy. To go through some levels, you need to acquire researches. It's fine. Dermos? Hey, you. Want to know why being a Psy Force Master is a path to follow if you want to impress babes and kick enemy asses? Let me guess, because you become more powerful? Of course, but if above all, it gives you several incredible powers. For example, if I tell you, you're going to be scared to death. Alright, alright. So tell me already. You can, at very low levels, summon mirror images of you. Later, you'll be able to turn your enemies berserk, make them implode, and summon even more powerful. Alright, but how can I learn your tricks? You're kidding, right? You don't know that? Just go to the library, speak to the seller, and bring lots of Bezos, and buy Cyber Force. That's all. Offer it up with my poor uncultured friend. Soon you shall weep. No, actually. Um, I think I'm gonna go hard on uh, gun shit. Good day, Master. I've an urgent message for you. Who are you? Come on, Master. I'm your faithful sc Scarable unit. I manage your business and serve you faithfully. Must relay this message. It is code red. Message from who? Authentication confirms it is self recorded, Master. Sorry, I send messages to myself? Recorded for your last departure, Master. Can I transfer it to you? Alright, send it so I can visualize it directly. By your command, Master. Oh well, if you're reading this message, it means our last mission is unsuccessful. Something must have happened to us. Our memory has been altered or destroyed, as we foresee. I don't know what you, or rather what we, have discovered during this mission, uh, but we don't know it anymore. I'm going to refresh your memory so you don't make any mistakes. We, we you, we, cannot allow it. Alright, and it must be weird to speak to oneself like this. Several months ago, Ramina uh, chose you to take part in this special unit. As you may remember, the Colters and Jeans, the brothers in the past, are currently in the middle of an unofficial and secret struggle. The struggle has calmed down because of our mutual fight against the Federation has intensified. The Secretary, and therefore I, has decided to take the only steps towards stealing power away from our enemy. Feel free to go to the archivist if you don't random concerning our organization's global history. Okay, I'll, set, I'll summarize. The Federation has ruled too many worlds for too long. Superiors from the Secretary have finally decided to launch the final attack, which will steal power from them. Secretaries can take advantage of the chaos caused by the metastromonic force and incessant looter raids. But let's get back to talking about the cultures and genres, uh, and as well as team you're assigned to. Special task force was created with a single goal, destabilize and destroy the genres. Remena has high expectations for you with this task. Don't be surprised, he sent us on this mission into the cave in order to find and eliminate an influential genre mentor. We're going to continue working towards this goal while maintaining the illusion of subservience. It means we're going to continue our fight against the Federation and force and the force to create a veil over activities against Jeans. Serve so our commander best you can and mistrust your mentor. According to the time lapse uh, erased from your memory, everything must uh, seem very odd, especially concerning your mentor. Trust me or trust yourself at all costs. Our fighter future depends on it. Master, the commander will have to see you. Make haste and meet with him. I'm going to the armory for repairs. I took part in a mission on Mars recently. Oh, the commander's right here. Andy. There you are. Extracted from the earth as a geyser freed from its earthly mantle. Medics told me you don't remember much. I must say, you came back here with some pretty serious wounds. Indeed, I lost a part of my life. We managed to refresh a few dormant memories. 
and sad. I'll try to restore your memories as rapid as rapid uh, as rapidly. It's I'll try to restore your memories rapidly as we don't have a lot of time. Uh, we're in a delicate position since you failed your last mission. Our plans against Jeans have changed a bit. Of course, before we understand, the conflict seems to be coming down. They're only coming down because of forces alongside those of the Secretary pressing engage in overthrowing Federation. Also, it's a bit blurring my head at the moment. No time to go into minute detail. I'll do it out. Our operation to overthrow Federation has begun, but I think it, but I think that our superiors at Secretary grossly underestimate the power of our enemy. The federal counterattack is likely to cost be, is likely to be costly to our forces. Thanks to chaos created by the uh, meta stromic force, we still hold the advantage. Additionally, the endless attacks by looters and fe various federal planets have given us a moment to catch our breath. I'm pleased to learn that our final victory is at hand. Indeed, but our mutual interest is in fact far from removed is far from removed from this point of war. We absolutely must find a way, and above all, a reason to eliminate the Johns. Very least, uh, we need a reason. Uh, we need to weaken their power base or make them worthless in the eyes of the Secretary. Seem quite reluctant. What's going on? Uh, my mentor wishes peace, and I must admit that it plans to see the confusion doubt in my head. You're my commander. Why should I hesitate for your orders? No, that's not possible. I don't believe you. Uh, you're my commander. Why should I be hesitant to follow your orders? In short, we must uh, reach your goal at all costs. Time plays against us. Why so chaste? Did your wounds make you drunk? You've seen for yourself that things are coming down between our two factions. And the Jeans have become more and more victorious, victorious against the Federation lately. As you command. Alright, I'll call you in again soon. The phrasings are weird, but I think it's been translated from another tongue, and it's... Uh, that would... <sighs> That can make it a bit clunky. Uh, that'll lock it seems. Hey there, glad to have you back. How are you, Orenos? Still hunting down the metastromatic force? Heh, <laughs> usual stuff. The more I kill, the happier I am. I wouldn't believe the stuff I've seen. I believe you, but I don't think everyone know. Mm, tell me. Did you know that some of the creatures' force have begun to take on, to take on the form of physical delirium, uh, psychic deliriums, or even fantasies? The metatraumatic force really is something both fascinating and strange. Tell me about it. Uh, the metatraumatic force. Well, it's cosmic emanation coming from some source we cannot understand. Nature, the universe, who knows? These creatures take the shape of our fears, our vices, or fantasies to better destroy us. It's one of those creatures before our Eden cave, I think. You might think they looked like a shadow. Ah, yeah. The Mandaku, the reflection of her hidden self, who also serves as the incarnation of cannibalism. There also be some perverted mutation of mankind. According to some sources, this is what became at first miners exposed to the Force. Who knows for certain? I'll catch you later if I encounter any more of these creatures of Force. I'll let you know. I'm hidden up the armory. You survived. We'll have to cancel the party. You're wasting my day. So the culture's butcher survived. Or when your brothers in arms was not so fortunate. Coming from the guy who killed my friend and teammate. I'd watch my step before you. Haha, <laughs> John's are first spirit to cultures like mountains staring over dry and barren desert. Better stay out of my way in the future. Or is that me in the back? I assume that's your specialty. Uh, fucking bastard, when we get outside, uh, get outside together, I'll send you to join your pathetic elders. Save your breath. Need it when I make you scream like a pussy. Go ahead and waste your time on hate if it amuses you. You as no adversary cannot be slain. Have you come for training? Uh, where are you? 
Must be Drogo Melgos. One charge of arms training here. Exactly. Thankfully, exactly is the exit. games where you can run and slide in them. I know, I started doing it before when I was playing one game and it's just like, it, it does feel great. Don't turn that on. I was curious if it would give me any tool tips and shit, but no, it just kind of screwed me over instead. Eh, whatever. No. I want to go to Kofer. Asmodai. Welcome to my shop, my man. Is that make your choice? Information? I'm an equipment seller. Here to buy some, you'll need some skills and especially bezels. Uh I vision. Okay. This is an ocular and neuronal device, how you can see in the dark, and to make tech owners more uh cyber tech owners more visible. But the metastromatic is badly detected. Cyber cloak. Invisible and odorless, jeez. But if you get too close, enemies can pick you up. I don't really care. Hey, you there. Yeah? Don't forget to pick up breeze cases for your mission. What off some technology inside them? Scientists will study them and you'll be able to conduct new researches. When killing our enemies, the looters and federals, sometimes you'll find an iron briefcase falling down. Okay. It's, uh for R&D. So I want to hold off on research till more weight gain. But, well, some research to weight gain. Stop bonus research to weight gain. Um, and do other stuff earlier. Um, med kits. Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted, actually. I forgot I had to research it. Um, so, yeah, some of these give research. Uh, some, sorry, some of these give skills. Uh, our stat increases. Some of them don't. So, I, they were saying to follow a guide to only get the stuff that doesn't. And leave the rest till later on in the game. To worry about. Though someone else in the thing was saying that they don't hit max level till they're like three new games in. So if you're just doing one run of the game, or you know, if it's new character or whatever, you don't need to worry much about it. But I don't want to tilt stuff against myself, so.
Uh, why did he die? So where did the corpse even go? Hakate, welcome to my shop, my man. Presentation madness. Dragon. Our technique, mastered only by few people, pose your enemy and teleports you where he died. Jesus. Uh, years former to 2116. Dark Ages, period from 2116 to 2250, Technological Middle Ages, 21, uh, 2250 to 2379, Era of Darkness, 2380, Rebirth and Departure of New Era, it's New Year Zero, Year 15, where our story begins. The history of Earth remains a mystery because of many wars and catastrophes it underwent. We only know that it's during this dark period, before 2116, the psychic abilities were studied and admitted by science, initially by the army, in the 1890s, then by civil science, 1970. We also know that the consortium of mega corporations were created at the same time as first Martian colony. In 2116, the space colonization began alongside the discovery of interdimensional space. Then Mars proclaimed its independence and launched an offensive against Earth with equipment unknown to the human race. This flash attack decimated two thirds of the human race, describing countries forming an alliance, the Federation, in order to better counter Mars. But almost all their military equipment had been destroyed. Mega corporations having their own war armor weaponry was helped Federation hoping to extend their power and influence. During this war, the Federation used telepathic soldiers. These new troops were called the Parapsychic Legion. Its role was to was mainly to inform, misinform, torture, spy, search for, and find traitors. At the end of the war, the Legion had become the Federation's Inquisition, constantly gaining power and influence. It was renamed the Federal uh, Parapsychic Army, and was separated from military command in order to keep its autonomy, but kept under federal control. Mars was beaten by Commander Cabalt's army. Mars was beaten by Commander Cabalt's army, who fought with his troops himself, remaining in front of the lines throughout the battle until his victory in 2127. The bottom was brought back under federal domination after the population in Martian's army was almost completely decimated in body combat. Many survivors questioned by the parapsychic troops spoke of an incident in one of the most important crew and corporation mines in Mars Sector 9, where at first population, then their leaders came insane, frantic, and bloodthirsty, raising an army with weaponry and no one had seen for. All investigations undertaken after the conflict failed. Uh, on Mars failed. The mystery of this strange Martian technology was never solved because all the evidence was destroyed. In 2153, cyber and biotechnologies from the Dark Ages underwent great success with a new generation of energy transmitters, but in 2158, a data processing virus decimated the growing old intercom uh, federal network, uh, which was quickly replaced by a virtual matrix system that was connected to its users' thoughts via an extremely complex network of electrodes. This new network was created by Von Jack, who was suspected of sent the virus. This new system, called TRKN2, but the users call it the Matrix, the ocean, or just cyberspace. One, two, three, four. Space colon uh, that happens every time I have tab. Space colonization continued through 2250, when a planet was discovered in Sector Taurus 27. The planet was baptized Jade, thanks to its green color. After a few months of terraforming, a team of construction workers discovered a wreckage, a strange and huge black vessel. The Federation sent a, a military detachment. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, future me is going to hate me when it gets editing. Uh, the Federation sent a military detachment accompanied by various scientists to study inside the vessel where they found an artifact that looked like a black and gold human warhammer with multiple inscriptions on its handle. Extraterrestrial people made contact six hours after discovery claiming the lost wreckage and the hammer is theirs. This race was the Oris. Federation ordered the detachment to bring the hammer back to them with their lunar research base uh, as fast as possible, ignore thus ignoring the Oris request. When the hours after this exchange, a war broke out. Humans were very quickly crushed by technological and psychic superiority of their attackers. War was one, of, was one of rare violence. The Oris fought like they were already dead. In what would have been the, uh, the last final Oris assault, the 5th of March, 2053, the unknown force attacked Oris and humans. The vessels looked strangely like the wreckage discovered on Jade. 
wreckage disappeared during the attack on the supposedly secret lunar base, uh, along with the mysterious forces that uh, disappeared quickly as they can't come. So the mysteri the ores were just claiming some other faction's wreck. Maybe they'd managed to take it down and you know wanted their loot, but who knows? Book of Supreme Path. Once upon a time, the sage said, "It's not because we are called blacksmiths that we're blacksmiths, but because we forge." Your characteristics determine your class as well as your global level, but several paths can take you to supreme illumination, to the perfect accomplishment. If predominates, your strength, warrior, weapon master, divine warrior, your side force, adept, psyker, daemon's impetus, palm, your endurance, protector, guardian, divine rampart. Medicine, apothecary, healer, thaumaturge. Your accuracy, armed, armed arm, marksman, divine lightning, hacking, hacker, hack master, puppet master, agility, scout, shadow strider, dead wind. Mental balance, ascetic, sage, venerable. Your strength and accuracy, avenger, slayer, divine talion. Talion, talion. Jilty, strength or accuracy, tracker, dark hunter, divine assassin. Psy, force and str strength or accuracy, warrior adept, warrior psyker, the divine destroyer. Uh, cybermancer, uh, hacking and cypher, cybermancer, necro cybermancer, the cyber demiurge. Endurance and strength or accuracy, valiant man, champion, divine seal, cyber force and medicine. Monk, priest, mystic. If nothing predominates, then you're following the path of cosmic purification, octuple equi equilibrium. Equilibrium fist, equilibrium lord, and grey master. What can I do for you, brother? Who are you? I'm called for the archivist. I keep uh, books, data books, information, and knowledge for a group. Have you forgotten? History. Ah, yes. Look for information terminals library to have the detail information. Okay. Oris and humans send a peace treaty. Oris even sharing some of their uh, some knowledge and technologies known to them with the humans. Explained that the army with black vessels was a mystery to them. But that they found some old texts in a rune on a remote planet which spoke about jade and the wreckage, as well as the great threat it represented. The Oris mother planet remains unknown to the human race, along with the majority of the culture. Oris are a humanoid race with an organ which is considered to be a third eye in the middle of the forehead. The nations comprise of warriors directed by a theocratic system. The Oris have a very powerful cast of fighting monks. Uh, the Nemesis, which are the only rare which only the rare human could integrate. The first being Honorable Nijin human uh, name given by the Oris, Najin. In 2277, some say he's still living today. Others think that this was pro-friendly uh, uh, Oris human propaganda. The Federation, with its 1,200 planets, signed an alliance pact with Oris in 2280. In 2283, the alliance was attacked by known, known people of human type, with technological equivalent to the Oris one. The vessels were the same as the force that had attacked the, attacked in the past and wreckage found in Jade. Close to a century later, after huge and bloody battles, where the enemy dominated, the situation was mysteriously overturned by a Nemesis raid. The war finally ended in 2379, when the Alliance forces, directed by Commander Alan Takaros, the or Oris War Master, Talar Nayan Khan, and Najin invaded the black planet Azak Primus, cradle of the invader race according to the official version, but only in advanced post according to rumor. The circumstances of the war remain mysterious. The black planet might have been only a minor base of an empire much more vast, but in 2080, forces that have been declared that be, that be declared this as a year uh, of the Federation of Revert and is renamed to Year Zero. The forces that be declared this as the year of Federation Revert. In year 14, Skatchin, 
A rebellious warlord master with an army composed of a few billion soldiers tried to invade Zarich. Federation destroyed the planet in response. Symbols of on Scatton's flags, which had not been seen since the Black Planet Wars. It's at this moment the Federation decides to make public, uh, following information public. In 2312, they had created in ha hand in hand with Nemesis 13 fighting legions. And he called them the Space Marines. Each legion lives on a fortress planet containing 50,000 men. Among them, twelve, uh, sorry, ten Nemesis level masters and their own master of war of Master Nemesis level. It was. It has also been learned from the Oris that the Nemesis ne name was rather recent. Some say that this name came f following high treason of half the Nemesis during the Black Planet conflict, but no one knows anything anymore. We only know that the Parapsychic Army tried to exterminate, tried to exterminate of the Nem uh, of the Nemesis, failing miserably. Parapsychic uh, Army and the Nemesis are the only two institutions authorized to train and use people with psychic gifts. These gifts are latent in all people. A shock or specific training can awaken and increase them. Parasitic Army and Nemesis seek psychers and telepaths throughout the Federation. When they're found, they have two choices. A join one factions or be eliminated by a Parasitic Army who considers all independent telepaths or psychers as a potential danger. Nevertheless, each mega corporation seeks and non non officially uses telepaths for security, thus for espionage, recruiting, etc. Federal Army also uses psychers formed by the Parasitic Army, the Parapsychic Army, um, that they've nicknamed War Conjurers. The Parapsychic Army and Nemesis have a difficult time locating new telepaths and psychers. Sorry, I had to rub my eyes burning Just for some reason. Shinji. The Predator and the Wolf. It'll be her, because just like every Friday night, Sinji looks for her victim. After a long and heavy dinner, Sinji feels over full, but he notices a beautiful girl and the frail young man who accompanies her finished her feast and are about to leave. Our co follows them to the underground car park. At the short headed station, he hopelessly slices his throat to the girl's lover with a fast blow of wakasashi. The girl is terrorized and starts to howl, not for long. Sinji reaches for his electric club and knocks his victim cold. Just like every Saturday, Saturday Sinji tortures and rapes a woman in a cellar. Once his sadistic pleasure is completed, he decapitates the victim with no loss of emotion. And like every Sunday, Sinji goes to bury the bloody, the mutilated body of his victim in the Leto Forest, which is venerated by the ancients who call it the Sanctuary. Sinji has accompanied the ritual for 12 long years, ever since his return from the colonial wars. But today, the atmosphere is, ev is even stranger than normal. Suddenly, he sees a white wolf on a small hill, which looks at him fixedly. The wolf, without opening his jaws, communicating as a spirit to a spirit, asks Sinji, What are you doing? Frightened, Sinji tries to dissimulate his, uh, his sinister deed, but then, realizing the abnormality of a speaking wolf, stops to answer the animal with a what in the? Sinji is now dead. The wolf surely killed him. Yet, he feels a pain in his throat. Moreover, he doesn't feel peaceful nor free, but distressed. He feels his body as if he's imprisoned inside. His conscience sinks gradually into a dark rage, a pure madness even for him. A mysterious force seizes him. The incident, destruction. A man witnessed a murder during his jogging round, but he doesn't discover a wolf to the federal police who question him, but a strange creature. Two meters tall. Two days after this bloody death, the zone has been entirely zoned off and quarantined by the federal army. From quarantine, the soldier signs his zone, as said to have seen and heard various strange things prowling about. Their numbers seem to increase gradually, uh, gradually and, and, and steadily increase. That's, uh, then, on a one rainy, rainy morning, th there was an intense light and then an explosion which destroyed everything over the surface of several hundred square kilometers. Only the forest was saved. Federation pretended a terrorist attack from an orb orbital targeting station uh, in, an, in an attempt to bury the story. The news of the incident and quarantine was revealed by a famous news channel preceding the soldier's testimony, censored by the Federation. Revolution, revelation was a uh, shock to the population, interpreted as a sign indicating the end of the world. Many spiritual fanatic groups claimed it was a divine sign. They joined together and invoked the idea that the creatures were spirit humans, come to punish the kind of world. And the guide derives on their path. 
First contact, last breath. At the same time, an old secret society, which was called upon by the Federation to take care of the forest issue. This group was called the Secreta Sectorum, which had existed since before the dawn of time. For the Federation, this new force was the same one which had been so destructive to an exhausting report from the Kroon incident. But very quickly, the group proved that this force hadn't any resemblance with the one that the Federation so dreaded. As soon as the group was in place, the mysterious force that killed the, that, the mysterious force that the group had called Metastromonic Will sent a messenger. The messenger was captured, studied, and killed. Official report the creature attacked first using its messenger status to surprise the group, members of the group, then Secretary Sectorum and the army jointly jo uh, uh, launched a raid into the force to purify it. The raid was a failure, no one survived. The zone was declared forbidden. The group uh, created the eye project to create a legion of warrior monks with one major specification. Messenger's DNA was used to create a legion of 11,000 soldiers. Each member of I was also uh, cybernetic with next generation technology. The first aim of I was to avert all actions of the metastromic will. To reach this goal, I, along with the lead soldiers of the army, launched a new raid to pacify the forest that met with rapid success, radicalization, and more destruction. This action led to less happy consequences. The more powerful fanat a group of fanatics radicalized their action and launched uh, reprisal action by simultaneously launching several old. Uh, so by simultaneously launching several old nuclear missiles all across Federation, many plans and scenarios were saved. That were saved over the lives of good work of Federal inf Information Services. Shock was terrible for the population who demanded revenge. The group gave I the responsibility of pacifying the fanatics. With Federation agreement, the operation was met with rapid success. Not too much left. New Eden, New Hell. Taking advantage of general chaos and its role in destruction fanatic groups, Secretary Sectorum built a fortress, so the radiator rooms of old religious me megapolis of Ortosa. The, uh, this reinforced megapolis was baptized New Eden. Ten years later, the influence and power of the mega corporations, united with consortium, extended do exceeded those of the Federation. The only group remains powerful, only the group remains powerful, influential and powerful. It becomes increasingly independent, going as far as founding its own army, which immediately has no equal. New Eden won't be spared from vice and corruption. Megapolis spirals quickly down, crime and chaos to stabilize government in place. The I project moves in and quickly rectifies the situation rather quickly, at the same time gaining influence within the group. The rise in power of I starts to worry the leaders of the group who decide soon afterwards to put I to sleep, but not for long. Strange events occur elsewhere within the federalization. Call to arms, the end of an era. Left and right, the dead return to life to attack the living. Half man, half animal creatures start to walk the earth, and strange creatures attack spaceships and colonies that up until now had been spared. Eyes are born, but divided into two authorities, which are also divided in sections to limit its power. Its mission was again to thwart any action that believed to be of the metastromatic will. Then terrifying and huge creatures appeared and led whole legions of the dead, beasts, and strange abominations. In the Seven Years' War, this army decimated 70% of humanity. Then, uh, then, attacks stopped, just as mysteriously it had started. Almost all federal territories were devastated in ruins, reduced to lifeless deserts because of chemical and nuclear attacks used to try and stop the creatures. Once again, population trauma was enormous. Many listened speeches by various uh, extremist spiritual movements who pre preached that the end of the universe was close and that creatures of the force were sent to punish them for their, head of their headlong, strong, headstrong uh, pretension and vice. The popular mass became paranoid towards the leading authorities, thinking the government had known the truth and hadn't done what was needed. But the most disturbing effect concerned reports about humans fighting alongside the mysterious legion. Other strange fact, New Eden was slightly only slightly attacked and barely worried, for the moment in any case, independence and decline. Benefiting from consortium and federal weaknesses, the group reached supreme power in the New Eden colony, founding a rigid dictatorship. But the lure of gains and profits and corruption resurfaced quickly, re ra rapidly strangling the young independent colony, thus forfeiting power to re revolutionary groups and other opponents of the re to the regime. In this climate, the Federation launched a cabal against the group by revealing old mistakes and slip-ups of the group. The I elite was officially dissolved by Secretary of Sectorum, calm popular masses, but this was not enough to calm federal uh, vengeful hatred by this colony under embargo. Welcome, brother. Sectora Sectorum, zero one here and now. Uh, taking full account of the Federation's coercive measures, decides to attempt a coup d'état. 
I troops standard ready, rallied to win by desperation to get out from under federal rule. It's in this chaos that the creatures of the Metastorm Market will, will reappear, launching fast and devastating attacks all over the Federation, including New Eden. Federation hardened the laws prohibiting access to high end war equipment such as energy weapons, while market is in shortage. Secretary Sectora launched his own research program to counter it. I, in its worst possible position, basically destruction no longer exists. Covertly, it takes actions through Secretary Sectorum to fight a metastromatic will, but enemies of the group as well. As well. I is divided into groups. Coulter die and Jean Shang die. Which, which with time became rivals and hostile to one another. Equipment differences which groups share are undoubtedly not foreign to these tensions. Equipment difficulties that these, that both groups share. Uh, I must also partially finance, be pi partially financed by itself. It employs beginners wishing to integrate the structure and sends them on badly equipped missions to intercept important valuable cargoes. These warriors parade as galactic plunderers. I, like many others, know sheer shortage in high-end military and cybernetic equipment. During this time, the lead troops of I achieved capital missions in the anti-metastromatic and anti-federal fight, eliminating the threat even on the farthest colonies, covering artifacts on inhospitable worlds, protecting civilians from besieged cities. The cohabitation is rather well tolerated by federal authorities who take into account I successful uh, missions against the force. There's uh, sometimes even federal forces and members of organizations shoulder to shoulder, fending their hearts from mysterious enemy raids. The invasion by the metastromic force increases every day, and the war with the Federation ravages whole worlds every second. Here's where you come into play. You're an uncover agent for a secret sectorum, where you must navigate I factions, keeping them at bay, and reporting secreta. Your role is to serve the organization's purpose, fight the metastromic force and overthrow the Federation, which is another problem. You just shot four large carbon bullets into your mentor's head. Why? So if I kill my mentor, then who's the guy over there? I have no idea. Let's try and not die here, huh? Go, baby. Uh, what do you got? Call hammer. Mm -hmm. It's a mobile machine with medium AI without unconsciousness, using a weapon on every identified person, stalking them. Sentry. Fixed machine with basic AI without any conscience, using a weapon uh, crosses its captures action radius. That's cool. to the commander again? I'm kind of at a loss. I wonder if the internal squabbling between the factions is a way of like trying to limit 
eyes power. Hmm. Mission for you in the New Eden Me Megapolis. I'm listening. A mole in organization stolen the cyber brain of an important member of the Secretary. He's about to sell it to the uh, Federation. We've learned that he plans to exchange cyber brain with special forces on the field. When you arrive in New Eden, our agents will ha have the meeting point location for you. Take it eliminate the traitor and special forces. Ha, <laughs> of course, but your mission won't end there, because your mentor could re really be interested in what the cyber brain contains. Uh, why would he be interested in contents? That's classified. I want you to keep an eye on him and report any suspicious behavior from him. If we find a way to bring his downfall and 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 the end of his influence, would be perfect. That's command. Get uh, get to need now. 